Through the study of solar physics, the phenomena referred to as solar particle events, SBs, otherwise known as solar radiation storms or solar energetic particle events, can be explained. These events occur when sun-emitted particles, primarily protons, are accelerated within the sun's atmosphere during a solar flare, or within interplanetary space by a coronal mass ejection shock. There may also be an acceleration of other nuclei, such as helium and hazions during this process. The potential power of these accelerated particles is such that they can penetrate Earth's magnetic field and cause a degree of ionization within the Earth's ionization, within the Earth's ionosphere, having a potentially significant radiation hazard. These particles can pose serious threats to spacecraft and astronauts. These charged particles, known as solar energetic particles, SEPs, can reach extremely high velocities during SPEs. These particles are then capable of inhabiting interplanetary space, following the direction of the interplanetary magnetic field. The Earth's magnetosphere consequently interacts with these SEPs, causing them to be directed towards the Earth's northern and southern poles where they can infiltrate the upper atmosphere. The process and physical mechanics behind SPEs still induce heated debates among scientists. Although the division of SBs into two categories based on their acceleration mechanisms, the gradual SPEs and the impulsive SPEs is commonly accepted. Gradual SBs commonly concern particle acceleration through shocks instigated by coronal mass ejections in the upper corona. In contrast, impulsive SPEs generally deal with the acceleration of particles primarily facilitated by processes linked to magnetic reconnection and wave, particle interactions at locations experiencing solar flares, most importantly, these particles released from the sun can potentially penetrate Earth's magnetosphere and ionosphere, particularly through the northern and southern poles. These energy-rich protons could then interact with the constituents of the Earth's atmosphere, thereby releasing their energy through ionization. This phenomenon can disrupt ionospheric radio communications, especially in polar regions, as the penetration by high-energy protons can lead to greater absorption levels in the lower ionosphere. These instances, known as polar cap absorption events, can actually block all ionospheric radio communications through the polar regions. Certain cosmic phenomena generate a significant volume of high charge and energy. UIZ, eons, even though their contribution to overall radiation pales relative to protons. It is assumed that Miyake events, striking spikes in specific isotopes and tree rings, are products of these solar particle events, SBES. The identification of these occurrences by physicist Fusa Miyake has facilitated the accurate dating of prior species. Transpolar commercial flights sometimes report heightened radiation levels during SBEs, leading the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, to inaugurate the Space Weather Center's SWEX in 2019. The SWEX disseminates advisories pertinent to international air navigation, shedding light on how space weather impacts aviation and imparting potential mitigation strategies, however. Flights outside polar regions are not as frequently affected by SBEs. Astronauts who find themselves outside Earth's magnetosphere experience a heightened level of exposure to proton radiation. Therein, astronauts en route to or stationed on the moon are particularly vulnerable, or particularly vulnerable. Nevertheless, if they are in low Earth orbit and remain within heavily fortified areas of their spacecraft, this risk can be lessened. The exposure to energetic proton radiation intensifies as a spacecraft journeys towards the polar regions. Energetic protons resulting from SPEs can charge spacecraft to levels capable of damaging electronic components and causing erratic performance. For instance, after being struck by energetic protons, spacecraft's solid-state memory could be corrupted, leading to unexpected commands being executed. Solar panels, vital for maintaining electrical power, can also suffer degradation of efficiency from proton activity over time. Exposure to such activity can entail a significant power loss, leading to crucial instruments being switched off. Energetic protons also impact optical electronics within the spacecraft, such as star trackers and cameras, resulting in image flashes. The adverse effect can be so severe that during especially intense events, image capture is rendered impossible. Disorientation becomes a significant risk, which complicates efforts to maintain ground control. SPEs often coincide with geomagnetic storms, resulting in significant disruptions to power grids. However, it must be noted that the proton events themselves are not to blame for these power grid anomalies or geomagnetic storm activity. Instead, 
power grids exhibit sensitivity towards fluctuations in Earth's magnetic field. 